Good morning students. In this video, we are now going to discuss about symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix. The first one is symmetric matrix. Okay. A square matrix A equal to A i j n by n is said to be symmetric if A equal to A transpose. Okay. That means, friends, a i j. If the element is a i j, that equal to a j i. The element equal to a j i. For example, if we take a three by three matrix, suppose a h g. Okay. Uh, this one is suppose b, and this one is suppose f to c. Okay, listen, friends. The first person, the first element is a one one. A one one equal to a one one. So it's even same. Similarly, this one is a one two. Sorry, two two. This one is a three three. This all values remain same. But now, these values h means a one two first row and second column. A one two equal to a two one because a i j equal to a j i. That's why a one two equal to a two one. So it's also h. Similarly, a one three equal to a three one. This one is g. A two three equal to a three two. This one is f. So the matrix is a h g h b f g f c. It is a three by three symmetric matrix. Similarly. If we take a two by two matrix, then remember, student, the diagonal element remains same. Okay, and the other elements. So this one is a one one, a two two, so remains same. It's two by two matrix. Now this one, this one is a one two. That equal to must be a two one. So if we take this one is suppose three, then a two and also three. Okay. This is all about our symmetric matrix. Now, students, the second one is skew symmetric matrix. Okay, a no skew symmetric matrix. Okay, a square matrix a equal to a i j n by n order is said to be a b skew symmetric matrix if a equal to minus a transpose. That means, students. A i j, the element A i j equal to minus of A j i. Remember, A i j equal to minus of A j i. In the last one, uh, that is symmetric matrix A i j equal to A j i. But here, in skew symmetric matrix A i j equal to minus A j i. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what will be the main diagonal elements? If we put If we put i equal to j for main diagonal elements, okay. If we put i equal to j, then a i j a i j means a i i is equal to minus a i i, which implies to two into a i i equal to zero. That means a i i equal to zero. Therefore, remember, students. The main diagonal elements equal to zero. So in skew symmetric matrix, the main diagonal elements equal to zero, and the rest element will be a i j equal to a j i. For example, for example, if we take a, the main diagonal element is zero. Okay, and the rest element will be a i j equal to a j i. If we take suppose one here, then a one two element, so a two one equal to minus one. If we take two, then it will be minus two. If we take minus three, then it will be three. Okay, so it is a skew symmetric matrix. It is a matrix or it is a square square matrix. Okay, where The main diagonal equal to zero, 
all the main elements are zero and the rest ele elements are will be negative of other okay that is a i j equal to a j i it is skew symmetry matrix okay if we take another example two by two matrix then if you take suppose 10 here then it will be minus 10 it says two by two matrix okay this is our skew symmetry matrix okay now students there is a theorem for a square matrix a point one is a plus a transpose is a symmetric matrix and point number two is a minus a transpose is a skew symmetric matrix so now proof first one is a plus a transpose is a symmetric matrix okay remember students we know that if we say that a matrix is a symmetric matrix that means a equal to a transpose okay a equal to a transpose now the matrix is a plus a transpose so we have to find that a plus a transpose whole transpose equal to a or this one is or you can write we have to prove a plus a transpose equal to a plus a transpose whole transpose okay then it will be <coughs> prove that a plus a transpose is a symmetric matrix okay so first <coughs> let the RHOs a plus a transpose whole transpose we know that a plus b whole transpose equal to a transpose plus b transpose okay so this equal to a transpose plus a transpose whole transpose because a plus b whole transpose equal to a transpose plus b transpose okay now a transpose plus a transpose whole transpose that equal to a because again we know that a transpose whole transpose equal to a it's a property of a transpose okay so listen student this one is lhs okay so a plus a transpose equal to a plus a transpose whole transpose the first one is proved. okay pause the video to write it down now the second one second proof the point two is a minus a transpose is a skew symmetric matrix and we know that skew symmetric matrix means a equal to minus a transpose or a transpose equal to minus a so now we have to show that a minus a transpose equal to minus of a minus a transpose whole transpose okay so <clears throat> let's do first one rhs again students uh, if you take minus of a minus a transpose whole transpose is equal to minus of again the same thing a minus b whole transpose equal to a transpose minus of a transpose whole transpose okay so this equal to minus of a transpose a transpose whole transpose means a okay so minus a this equal to minus of a transpose minus a the answer is a minus a transpose which is our LHS. So it's also proof students A minus A transpose equal to minus of A minus A transpose whole transpose. Therefore, A minus A transpose is a skew symmetry matrix. It's proof. Okay. Okay. So pause the video to write it down. <coughs> okay, students. Uh, in this class we have discussed about first one is symmetric matrix what is symmetric matrix second one is what is skew symmetric matrix and one theorem we're going to do our 
सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स एंड स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स